I never thought about teaching Jiu-Jitsu because, uh, you know, I went to school for economics. And, uh, but I was a purple belt and Carson um, asked me to help in the classes. And that's how I started helping, you know, many, many years ago. And uh, I like it, you know, it was, uh, was nice to, I feel like I was helping people to get better, maybe more confident and uh, that was uh, how I started teaching. You know, I think that's a, it's a, it's a good feeling when you help people, you know. I've been doing this for 43 years. Yeah, I started 17, you know, you know the time, and then uh, I'm six years old. I just turned 60. I think I started to, to think about trying Jiu-Jitsu because, uh, you know, I grew up in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. The level of violence is a lot higher than here. Uh, my first sport was surfing, and, uh, you know, sometimes while you surf in the beach, uh, there was a lot of fights there, and that's one of the reasons that I thought about training Jiu-Jitsu because I, say, I, I, I knew about the Gracies, I, I, I seen them fighting, and that's a kind of, you know, I, I thought, wow, this is going to be a good stuff for me, smaller guy, if I have to confront a bigger person, I will survive, and maybe win, you know, that's, that's the idea, that's why I started doing Jiu-Jitsu, yes. It took me 15 years, you know, back in the day, uh, well, people don't have the kind of, uh, you know, to be honest with you, the information, uh, availability of information. Uh, people train maybe once a week or twice a week, and now I have guys coming here six days a week, you know, and, uh, you know, people are, are very more dedicated. You know, uh, I did basic for the self-defense, but, uh, you know, we didn't think about the, the, all the other benefits that training martial arts can uh, uh, yeah, give it a person. Uh, you learn about uh, uh, yourself, you know, because I see a kind of a lot of times people they kind of you know when they see a, a confrontation they try to avoid it. In jiu-jitsu, maybe uh, you're not gonna win, but you don't step back either. You know, you hold your ground, and that's what is important. I think if you if you if you keep training for a while, one thing that you learn is how to be humble. You know, because I see you can win it all. You know, uh, you're always going to have opponents that are good and they're, they're coming at, at you, with, you know, they challenge you and you learn how to, to, to confront a weakness and uh, you learn how to be humble when you win and you're strong when you lose. <laughs> yes. Kind of make it, these kids, the, the adults, feel more comfortable about themselves, confident about themselves. Uh, the kids grow up as, a, as strong human beings, you know, they, they feel that they fit in this world. And uh, they, 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 you know, the dogs the same thing. They're kind of they're confident people, uh, ready to, you know, to address any situation. That's a, that's I think the beauty of the jiu-jitsu.